Welcome back to Central Valley Talk. I'm Mike Briggs, and we've been coming here uh, since 2008 celebrating what's good about Fresno. And each week we try to find different people who are doing great things in Fresno that we think everybody should know about. Oh, I forgot I was going to come in like this eating, <laughs> taking a bite of this. It's a, oh, I'm going to bring in our guests. They can tell me exactly what it is. Um, our guests are... Um, Jeremy Dyer and Mona Lopez from Union Jack, Union Jack's Pasty Shack. And I'm going to correct you right there. It's Pasty. Pasty. Yes. Not Pasty, Pasty. Yeah, past Union Jack's. We even rehearsed this before the show started. <laughs> Union Jack's Pasty Shack. Yes. And you sell these things. That is the most delicious thing I've ever eaten. Uh, our camera probably won't pick it up, but there's what it, what's in your uh, potatoes. Yeah, so that's our traditional Cornish pasty. So pasty. it is a uh, peppered sirloin steak. Mm -hmm. It's got potato, rutabaga, and uh, brown gravy. Great. Now, if you think that sounds good, this is the tandoori chicken. Did yeah, so we have tan that? we have also in there we have tandoori chicken and then our cheese and potato for those who are cheese not eating any meat. Yeah. Now I like I've gone to you guys at. Um, the uh, uh, gardens, gazebo mm -hmm. gardens. And this is a perfect food for that because yeah. you get it, you put a napkin around and you just eat it as you continue walking yes. and enjoying the music and having a beer and stuff like that. So your truck is a perfect food truck for something like that. By the, that. by the way, today is Thursday, April the 6th, um, 2023. Where will you be tonight? Uh, we're actually going to be downtown. We will be downtown today. We are going to be at Art Hop. At our heart by the Tag of Sequoia? Yes. Yeah. You guys find them there tonight. If you're watching this video on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, they're not going to be down there. Do you know where you'll be any of those nights? Uh, yeah. So Friday night, we're going to be back at Gazebo Gardens. Okay. Um, Saturday, uh, do you know where we're going to be Saturday? We are at Tesoro Viejo. Oh, yeah. Tesoro Viejo in Madera. So okay. we're going to be out there. And then... Um, do you know who the band will be at Gazebo Gardens? Put you on the spot. No, I don't. Yeah, Probably no. Glenn Delpit or somebody cool like that, no <laughs> doubt. So, uh, now let's say somebody's watching this video runs next week or something. Is there a way people could find where you are that night? Yes. So uh, on our website, we actually post our schedule every single week, and we also post it to our social media. So on the screen, you'll see at Fresno Pasty. That's our Instagram and Facebook handles. You can go there and find out where we're going to be. It. Now, um, I want to say some more things about we celebrate what's good about Fresno here. Um, I don't think I see this in any restaurant. No. I, in fact, uh, the reason we brought Mona here is she is in our kitchen. She makes all of these from scratch. So mm -hmm. we're not a traditional truck where it's coming from frozen. Everything is made fresh. Uh, so I'll let her tell you a little bit about the ingredients and, and what it is. Uh, okay, tell me about your day. What time <laughs> did you start? Oh, so my day starts about... Anywhere between five and six in the morning, uh, usually going and running and making sure we have all our ingredients for our pasties. Um, you know, going in the kitchen, cutting up our meat fresh, steak, chicken, getting all our products that we need for the day, and then making our dough. We make all our mm -hmm. dough by hand. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a. It's one of the best parts of this. That is the yeah. best part of it. Uh, so making our dough fresh every day, and then actually making the pasties. We fill the pasties. We fold them. We crimp them. Uh, usually about anywhere from two to three hundred pasties a day that we make. And what time do you start? We I start about six. Six. Yeah. Now is this a big day Friday or are they all about the same? Today Thursday. is Thursday. Today's Thursday. Today Art. right. Art hop. I mean, it's a big day. Yes, today is a big day for us. So, uh, you know, getting up early, making sure that we have all our pasties ready to go. We have four different flavors for you today, and. Um, you know, making sure that we have at least about a couple hundred pasties on the truck ready to go tonight. A couple hundred down. We have the potato, the steak and cheese. The uh, steak and potato. Tr traditional Cornish pasty is going to be peppered steak, potato, rutabaga, mm -hmm. and uh, gravy. Right. I've never seen a rutabaga. Yeah, it's not a known, well-known vegetable, I would say, here in the Valley. Um, it's a big staple in the UK, and it's a, it's a root vegetable, right. similar to potato. So one of the flavors is missing, one of the varieties? It is, yeah. It's uh, our all-day breakfast pasty. Oh, right. Nice. So it, it's our all-day breakfast. It's the pasty of the month, which uh, a lot of people have been requesting that for us to bring back. But it is very similar to our cheese and potato, but we added ham and jalapeno to it. Oh, ham and jalapeno. And egg. Let me ask you about the jalapeno. Is it too hot for some people? It is not too hot. Yeah, people who know how to do that can give us a great jalapeno flavor without it being too hot. Exactly, Thank exactly, you. yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Mona. I appreciate that very much. You're welcome. So the others, would you say they're non-traditional? Uh, so, yeah, so traditional is going to be like a staple. Um, everything else we've kind of 
changed the ingredients slightly to give it um, just a little bit more flavor. So we add spices that aren't necessarily um, in the UK that um, in order to give it a little bit more flavor for the valley because we're used to a lot of flavor here. Westernized. Yes. Westernized it. Um, okay, so tonight, uh, Art Hop, and if you guys don't go to Art Hop, people say there's nothing to do in Fresno. Well, here's one thing, Art Hop, the first Thursday of every month, it, uh, downtown and Tower, and the third Thursday of every month up north in North Fresno, and nothing to do in Fresno. How about Gazebo Gardens tomorrow night, Friday, uh, uh, Union Jack's Pasty Shack will yes. be there. <laughs> And there's always something to do in Fresno. Isn't there it? is. There, in fact, there are so many events, multiple events every single night. I mean, uh, when we did Fres Yes, there was also the Mariachi Festival that was going down oh at City God. College. So there's always multiple events. So we wish we had multiple trucks. <laughs> you, you have to pick one. Yes. And, uh, would you say you're out three days a week, four days a week, five days a week? Uh, we're out anytime, any anywhere between five and six days a week. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me ask you this: If somebody was having a wedding, have you ever done that? We do catering events. In fact, um, we did a, uh, it's Robert Burns, Robert Burns Society. So it's, uh, we, we went and catered that. We actually, uh, we didn't do shepherd's pie. We did, uh, or I mean, I'm sorry, we did shepherd's pie, not uh, pasties. Yeah. I um, recently went to a wedding and there was three food trucks there and we all bought our own food. I thought that's okay. People yeah. have to spend ten thousand dollars and feeding other people for their wedding. Right, so. and everybody likes different things, so yeah. why not have something that somebody's going to want, and yeah. not spending money on something that someone's not going to want? So yeah. having a food truck is a great idea. Okay, so if I want to know a week I get hungry for a pasty, I'm going to go to Facebook or Instagram. Either or one or the website. They're all, they're all up to date all the mm -hmm. time. Yes. Mm -hmm. Whew, I could talk to you guys all night. This is very yeah. inspiring, and I didn't know that you're out making them in the kitchen all day. Yeah. Yes. And. Um, uh, of course, we're out of time. Anything you want to tell our viewers before we go? Um, no, I mean, if you're looking for catering events, uh, as you mentioned, a wedding, uh, we are more than happy to come out and do a new venue. Uh, if you are looking to find us, go to our Instagram, Facebook, and uh, website and uh, come check us out. That's great. It's, it's the most different thing in town. Yes. No restaurants are like this. And it's just, it's just fun. Yes. All right, we'll be back with more Central Valley Talk right after this.